remember, Hezbollah has fired already thousands of rockets into our cities. It's committed to our destruction. So is Al-Qaeda. Uh, there are jihadist elements, uh, uh, believe it or not, in addition to them, inside Syria. They're the worst uh, Islamist radicals in the world. So obviously we're concerned that the weapons that are uh, groundbreaking and could change the balance of power in the Middle East would fall into the hands of these uh, terrorists. And we always reserve the right to act to prevent that from happening. Like when in January where Israel struck a Syrian government weapons convoy said to have been heading to Hezbollah in Lebanon. Well, I'm not confirming uh, news reports. Uh, well, Ehud Barak basically did. He, when he was asked about it, he said, well, when Israel says something, it means it. But they keep telling, uh, frankly, that we said, and that's one another proof that when we say something, we mean it. Well, I'm the prime minister, and I, I tell you that I, uh, I prefer to just state our policy. And that's our policy. And it's clear that uh, this is a serious challenge. By the way, not only to us. I mean, if chemical weapons fall in the hands of uh, uh, Al-Qaeda, that's a challenge to Britain. It's a challenge to Europe. It's a challenge to every Arab uh, country in the Middle East. What did you say to David Cameron, the British Prime Minister, in your talks? Did you urge him not to lift the arms embargo against arming the rebels? Well, whatever I said to him was said in a private context. And uh, I, I can assure you that we see eye to eye with the, the British government about uh, preventing further terror and bloodshed in Syria. Uh, it's a complicated picture because it's uh, because you have bad fighting the bad. Israeli aircraft have entered Syria and have apparently dropped bombs. This is just happening. Israel has openly intervened in Syria for the second time this year. This, according to U.S. officials, they say Tel Aviv has carried out another bombing run on a target inside Syria. Uh, this uh, following a previous strike. Huge explosions shake the Syrian capital Damascus. The government is blaming Israel for the multiple rocket attack. The assault comes in the wake of extensive military operations by the Syrian army, with the foreign-backed insurgents suffering heavy defeats. That just confirmed with a U.S. official that the Pentagon does believe that Israeli warplanes did cross into Syrian airspace overnight and dropped uh, several munitions munitions, bombs, if you will, on a warehouse that was believed to be uh, containing conventional weapons. It was not a chemical weapons facility, I'm told. Syrian security forces reject the claim that Israel pounded military sites. The area is 99% populated by civilians. First, this facility is for chickens and cows, and there are factories for cement, water, metal recycling, and a tea and gas station. What I have said in the past, and uh, I continue to believe, is, is that the Israelis justifiably uh, have to guard against the transfer of advanced weaponry to terrorist organizations like Hezbollah. On Saturday, Syria's president made a rare public appearance at Damascus University. Bashar al-Assad urged his supporters to carry on as usual to defeat the opposition. Throughout history and across cultures, terrorism has been the weapon of the cowardly. That's why they attacked the students and the teachers. But once they saw the Syrian military, those cowards fled. When we live our life and have as much normal life in the country, they will break down. They said they couldn't penetrate uh, without great cost Syrian air defenses. I think, didn't the Israelis just kind of blow a hole a mile not, wide in I'm, that? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure they went into Syria. Are you sure they went into I'm Syria? Sure they took out, I'm sure they took out uh, assets of, of Assad's in Syria, which is exactly what we... This is the battlefield. On the left-hand side, a rebel village. On the right, a pro-government village. And they've been trading mortar fire back and forth all day. It helps to understand the geography. Those villages are just a couple of hundred yards here from the Israeli border, and you can see the border road there. Our cameras captured for the very first time Israeli commandos coming back from inside Syria on a mission. The Israelis have been very worried about extremists, especially those linked to al-Qaeda, using the unrest inside Syria to launch attacks here against the Jewish state something Israeli officials say they are willing to do whatever is necessary to prevent. Israel isn't taking any chances. For the first time in nearly 40 years, Israel deployed its forward artillery to provide...
instant response capability. In recent weeks, Israel has been reinforcing their positions here with heavy armor. This Merkava tank just came in. The very fact that it's here is in violation of Israel's ceasefire agreement with Syria, an agreement which, for all practical purposes, has been ripped up given recent developments. بعد قليل أيضا سنشاهد في هذه الصور أن عليها كتابات بالعبرية هذه الصورة هي صور حصرية لقناة الميادين حصلنا عليها منذ قليل وهذه كتابات في بالعبرية بدأنا نشاهد هذه الكتابات التي تشير وتؤكد أن هذه الألية ألية إسرائيلية وبطبيعة الحال كانت المسلحة في القصير وقد صادرها هذه هي الكتابات العبرية نشاهدها الآن على الهواء صادرها الجيش السوري ويبدو أن في هذه المدرعة هناك بعض الإصابات فيها تعرضت لإصابات من قبل الجيش العربي السوري كان مركوني ضمن زاوية لكن من خلال البحث بيّن أنه فيها مدخرات هذه المدخرات تدل على وجود أجهزة تعمل عليها نستدل من ذلك بأن هناك يعني فيه علاقة وطيدة بين الميليشيا المسلحة وبين العدو الإسرائيلي كما أنها العربي هاي هي عربي إسرائيلي مثل ما أنتم شايفين أنتم يعني هون عليا الإشارات Tensions flare in the Golan Heights. Syria says it destroyed an Israeli vehicle that crossed into its territory from the border region Tuesday. But Israel claims the vehicle was hit on its side of the Golan ceasefire line, prompting Israeli forces to return fire into Syria. The defense minister said Israel was not intervening in Syria's civil war. We are not allowing and we will not permit a spillover of fire into our territory, he said. Overnight, a Syrian army target was destroyed after such gunfire spilled into our territory in the Golan Heights. The front line has been largely quiet for nearly four decades. But Israeli airstrikes on targets inside Syria have spurred threats from Damascus as the conflict spills into neighboring countries. We're not intervening there in the civil war, but as for the situation in the Golan Heights, we do not allow and we will not permit a spillover of fire into our territory.